What you're looking at is a photograph of the Fairmont Hotel wine storage in Chicago, Illinois. I'd like to take you on a tour of the drawings for this, uh, these cabinets. Uh, what you're looking at is the overhead or plan view. This is showing the whole area of the round lobby. Uh, this is the doorway leading into the lobby. This is a bar that is in the lobby. And these are the cabinets rounded behind and as well on the other side of the door. Uh, each elevation has a letter designated elevation A, B, C, D, and E. We're going to walk through these one at a time. Um, elevation A and elevation E are the same. Elevation B uh, is all wine storage. Elevation C and D are chocolate storage on the bottom, cheese storage on the bottom, and wine storage on the top. Uh, we have a total of 858 bottles that can be stored in these cabinets. Elevation A and E, which are the same, have two doors. Uh, these are glass doors. Uh, at the bottom, uh, you have horizontal waterfall display and a lattice design. Uh, this shows where you can see your labels on the front as well as the back bottles. On the top is more of a locker, which is holds 750s. Uh, down below you have a dry storage area, which means this area is not cooled. It is just an open area, um, like a drawer that can store um, miscellaneous items. The top, uh, we have a hidden behind the panel, is a split system evaporator, a CC1800, which chills the entire column. Um, we'll move on. There's three of, uh, there's actually three of these in section A and three in section E. Moving on to section B, we now have three doors. Uh, we have the door for the individual 750s, a door that holds a horizontal waterfall, and a door at the bottom that has an open shelf. This is right behind the bar so that the bartender has a place to put his open bottles and have them stand up. Uh, again, you have the split system at the top, cooling the entire column. Elevation C is meant as is meant to cool your chocolates on the bottom and your wine on the top. It has two split systems, one for the bottom section, one for the top two sections, so that they can be cooled at different temperatures. Uh, we have three glass doors. We have your cooling system at the top, another cooling system uh, halfway down, and again a dry storage at the bottom. Elevation D is just like Elevation C. Uh, it has its own cooling for cheeses so that we can regulate the bottom to be the proper temperature to ch store the cheeses. Um, I want to show you a few more photographs of the completed project. This, of course, is in the lobby area. Uh, we will go, the next one is looking from the left side, you can see where the, these lockers are, not lockers, these, there's a locker at the top, but the storage has two doors on it. Uh, the next photo shows you where there are three doors going all the way around. Uh, you can see the ladder and rail. Uh, this one sh again shows the ladder and rail going all the way around. And this one is a close-up. It is a um, rolling ladder. And it shows the hardware on the doors. And the upper cabinets, they all do have locks. I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough of the Fairmont Wine Cellar in Chicago, Illinois. And this has been brought to you by Wine Cellar Specialists. <laughs>